I'm Charlotte Lindsay and I'm the Director of Digital Transformation and Data for the International Committee of the Red Cross, a humanitarian organisation that works for the protection and assistance of victims of armed conflict. The ICSC is an organisation that's existed for 154 years. I think you have to be innovative to have uh, maintained uh, your position. What we are seeing now because of, uh, of transformations in connectivity and networks and technology is the importance of understanding how that's impacting the, the people that are affected by conflict, but critically how it should impact the way that we respond to that. So innovation is important. What is important also is you understand what are the potential game changers for your organization, but that you're also making sure that you're investing in innovations that are going to have the greatest impact for, in our case, the humanitarian response. So some of the big trends that, that we are analyzing or investing in, definitely around data analytics and algorithmic reading, machine learning, uh, artificial intelligence, that's critical in terms of being able to both aggregate and, and use the data that we have to inform decision making. So how do we use algorithmic data in a way that will strengthen our capacity to respond on behalf of, of people affected by conflict. One of the biggest challenges for us is really helping people to understand what the impact of technology is. I think people are quite frightened of technology and don't necessarily know how to understand that. So how do you help make the business case for that? That's an enormous internal challenge. If I had to give three tips, I'd say firstly, try to be visionary, look ahead. The second tip I'd say is look outside your sector. Look, what can you learn from others that can inform the, the way that you are embracing uh, change? The third, I would say, is be courageous, put audacious ideas on the table and hope that, that can, you can then help to navigate the organization to good decision making.